with the continuity of the previous video the interpretation of cvc and the subtopic in which we were discussing about the basics of the rbc so let's continue that video with the rule of 3 what is the rule of 3 according to the rule of 3 your hv is equivalent to 3 time multiple of rbc your hemocrate must be equivalent to 3 time multiple of hemoglobin with the range of plus minus 3 so here you can see the implementation of rule of 3 patient a here you can see the three time multiple of rbc is hb and your three time multiple of hb is hemocrate in all four patients a b c d rule of 3 is implemented rdw what is the meaning of rdw in the cbc you can see this word rdw rdw means rbc distribution with which measure of the anxiocytosis and what is an anxiocytosis it is a condition which rbc are unequal in size it is not in the equal in shape and it is not in the original shape it distinguish hereditary rbc defect from the acquired and its reference range is 12 to 15% high rdw means more variation in size and here you can see the variation in size in the gray color you can see the normal rbc and the black color is a variation in size that is means the unequal rbc rbc in dice that means the description of rbc morphology what is the overall size of the morphology because you can know the variation in the size of morphology of the rbc can lead to the different shapes of rbc in which you can see in the previous video in the chart so if you still didn't watch that video go and first watch that video how much hb do the rbc contain calculated using rbc hb and hemocrate mcv MCV is the mean cell volume. This is basically the RBC index. Average RBC volume reference rate at 8200 per milliliter. And if your RBC or the mean cell volume lie in this reference range, that means it is a normal cytic condition. And if it's not lie in that condition or below the 80, that means it is a macrocytic because it. having the decrease mean cell volume if it is larger than 100 that means it is it is a macrocytic if it is a smaller than 80 it is a microcytic condition and these are basically the causes which causes the microcytic and the macrocytic anemia why i am using the term anemia because along with this decrement of the reference ranges that is 80 to 100 also the hb decreases and that's why i'm using the term anemia now what is a macrocytic causes that are the vitamin b12 for the folic acid deficiency alcohol consumption and the reason of the microcytic or the low mcv are the iron deficiency anemia and thalassemia then it can be differentiated on the basis of the different parameters now what is the mcv mcv is a average cell volume large plus small will average normal this is basically the rule and it refer to the rdw what is an mch mch is another red blood cell in this amount of the hemoglobin within the rbc there is a little or the minute difference between the mch and mcv it correlate with mcv result is smaller the cell let as b so there is a low mch because actually mch is the amount of hemoglobin within the rbc and it reference range is 28 to 34 pg and here you can see the formula from which you can calculate the mch but don't worry it is already calculated in the normal cbc now the next rbc index that is is a mcsc mean cell hemoglobin concentration 
mean hemoglobin concentration of the RBC that is the reference range 32 to 36 normal MCHC that is a normal chromic because the mean cell hemoglobin concentration is the normal in range and why it is known as chromic because here you can see mean cell hemoglobin and hemoglobin is a color pigment so the chromic is basically the color part indicate the colored part of the RBC that's why here you can measure the hemoglobin or mean cell hemoglobin concentration so low MCSC means hyperchromic and high MCSC means hyperchromic and this is a formula you from which you can calculate the MCSC value also now this is the normocytic and normochromic anemia why it is normocytic and normochromic because the MCV MCSC value are in range but why it is anemia because here you can see the HB HB is below the normal range so that's why it is called as anemic condition here you can see the microcytic and the hypochromic anemia here you can see the normal blood count and another picture is a microcytic so there is a decrease range of which parameter kindly tell me know in the comment box and why it is called the anemia because of the decrease range or level of the hemoglobin that's why it's called the anemia now this is a microcytic or the normal chromic anemia normal chromic means there is a 35.4 mcsc it lie in the normal range and microcytic one of the range is elevated from the mcv or mcs so let me know into the comment box why it is known as anemia because again the decreased level of the HB in the picture so these are some normal ranges of the control hemoglobin hemocrate MCV MCH and other parameters in the CBC and the reference ranges on which basis it can be categorized into the iron deficiency anemia that is a IDA so that's all from this presentation and from this lecture meet with a new lecture with a new topic that is the WBC and the interpretation of the CBC subtopic WBC into the next video till that take care Allah Hafiz